Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video on Tahitian County. As you can see, we are here with the 8820 and our grain head in our oats field. And we're going to kick off on some harvest today. I did the end rows here on the south end of the field just to kind of uh, open everything up. And uh, now we're going to fire away at it and uh, try and get some combining done. I did off camera. Um, I got our alfalfa field all wrapped up. I got all the bales off and they are in our storage building and then I also put down lime and liquid fertilizer on the field as well so it is uh, ready to go whenever uh, whenever it gets fully ready again. And I do already have our auger set up back at the farm as well. And then I brought both of the grain trucks over. So we are ready to rock and roll. We'll see, we might have to go grab one of those trucks here soon. Because uh, those two end rows and then all the way up, we're almost halfway full. So hopefully we can make it all the way back down after we do two uh, headlands up here. But we shall see. So if you notice, there is nothing right here. I don't know if I had a video with the Combine Experience uh, mod enabled. But uh, I did have it. And when I was starting on that headland pass, the first headland pass, it uh, would only combine at one mile an hour because it said that the uh, grain was too wet or the moisture was too high, whatever it was. And uh, so it only combined at one mile an hour. So I took that off so that we, uh, we can actually get somewhere with harvest. It's going to be close to try and make it back down there, but uh, we will see what we can do here. get this end opened up and then we will uh, let's not drive over the soybeans if we can uh, help it It is kind of interesting though that the oats are fully grown, ready to harvest, but they're still green. It's kind of uh, interesting to me. I didn't realize that Tahitian County here had uh, this kind of a texture on it. Oh boy, we might not make it all the way back down to the truck might have to tab over to the truck and uh, bring the truck up to the combine. So we are about to hit 75%. There it is. So she is going to be close. That is for sure. Very, very close. In fact, I don't think we will uh, make it down, so what we'll do 
We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna swing out. Right, like so. And then we're gonna tab to our grain truck. Yeah, we're just going to run up here and unload the combine right away. Hopefully next year we'll be able to um, afford a full-time hired hand as well as um, a grain cart that would make life way easier. Go ahead and flip our GPS line here. And then we gotta move it. Definitely not the fastest at uh, unloading. Definitely put a long enough header on this, or uh, auger on this combine. But it allows for larger headers in the future, so that'll be nice. And there we go. Finally unloaded. We can just cut away. Oops, wrong button. There we go. GPS is suddenly on the bottom. Interesting. Let's not hit the truck. I think I just did. Oh, I'm gonna move the course over a little bit here. Uh, 
windrows are definitely large enough. Should be good for the rest of our field. Had that happen to me too on the first headland pass, where it uh, kind of showed up funky. It's definitely a nice little setup, though. I like the uh, look of this. Let's set our dust scale down a little bit because with them being this green they aren't going to be very dusty there we go that's a lot better now we can actually see something as well So, fif between 15 to 20 percent full a pass. That's not too bad, actually. I can live with that. We still have a fair amount of field to go, so. And whatever we get off of this, we get. Um, we're only really doing it for the straw, basically, for our cattle. Otherwise, we really wouldn't have a use for oats. Uh, they aren't the highest pain, and as we see, not the uh, highest of yielding either, so. There we hit 50%. So I think. probably uh, unload under the truck when we get back up to that truck maybe that's what we'll do we'll keep one truck on either end I'm hoping we get a few truck loads but if we only get like two and we only get two loads shift this course over every single time I think let's see here in the settings is there let's set this at an even 30 we'll try that that might work out a little better. I think it will actually. Yeah, that seems to look a lot better. We'll find out though when we uh, get flipped around. Yeah, green oats, but brown stubble. Definitely interesting. Uh, 
but just something in the way the map was done. And for all I know, he could have uh, changed it by now, or could be changing it for a future version. Never know. Good, I can line it up from in cab. Works for me. It's right on the money. Oh. Let's get out of this guy's way here, though. So we'll see if this fills this truck or not. The truck is currently at 65 so I think we'll be able to get some more on it Maybe not. But this might actually fill this truck, which is perfectly fine with me. We're going to be very, very close if it doesn't. I think it will. Oh, yeah. 97. Perfect. So that is one full truck. Okay, well, this end worked out pretty good. A little bit of overlap, like to see it. So now we'll find out down at that end of uh, what it'll do. So this will be our only thing ready for right now. Um, and then we, in October, we'll have corn, sunflowers, and soybeans ready, and our sorghum will be ready next month, and I believe that, uh, our alfalfa will be ready for a second cutting next month as well, so we'll have a little bit to do, and then... I think we'll get one more cutting in September or October and then we'll have three cuttings of hay end for the year and uh, we'll have all of our straw bales and so we will uh, I think we'll be sitting pretty decent in terms of feed and moment of truth Perfect. That uh, was what it needed. Just needed to have the width adjusted. A little close for comfort on this side, but as long as it's getting it all, that is A-OK -okay with me. Boy. 
field definitely looks intimidating with uh, <clears throat> um, this combine. So I think we'll probably get a couple truckloads. I don't know if we'll get a full bin worth. Um, and even if somehow we do manage to fill a bin and we still have oats left, then we'll just sell that directly. Um, because we only have a few bins and I want to be able to have uh, each crop stored. So, I mean, we have five different crops and I think we have five bins, so once a bin is full, or, you know, if a bin is full of one crop, then the rest can get sold right away. Because I would like to hold on to our crop until whenever the markets are highest. Um, so for oats, they're highest in January. Sorghum is highest also in January. Uh, sunflowers are February. Soybeans are July. Corn is January. So... <clears throat> I'd like to hold on to it as long as I can, but... If we can't, then we can't. If we need some money, then... Got to do what we got to do, and we'll sell some. But I think that we should be able to get a loan to purchase our cattle. Um, we've been talking with the bank. And basically, they want to wait and see what uh, what it looks like after we finish combining, um, and that's kind of kind of where I want to be at too. I want to wait until then, so that way we kind of know too. You know, if we have overflow and we sell it, maybe we can just be able to afford our cows without the loan. But uh, time will tell on that one. So we'll just kind of have to uh, wait and see. And uh, I do got to go in and total it up of how much money we do need to buy our cattle. Because uh, then, I mean, we're also going to need money next spring for um, seed and fertilizer, chemical if we need it, or anything that we may need. <clears throat> and uh, along with upgrading some machinery. So I don't want to take out a big loan and have to be paying on that if I don't have to. Um, I did also talk to the dealership um, here the other day and they will do a lease to own with us on machinery. So that would also be very helpful. We are not going to make it down to the other end, I don't think, so we're not even going to try it. We are just going to pull up right here and grab our other truck. No sense in pushing it if we don't have to. Oh, I didn't notice that the uh, shifter moves. And actually, 
makes a noise when it shifts too. That's kind of neat. Just an old five speed. Yeah, I can't see anything out that back window, so. Just wait for our combine to unload. So we can just leave that truck sitting. And this is gonna halfway fill this truck already too. I think what we'll do is we'll cut one more full combine and we'll fill this truck and then we'll go unload both of them yet otherwise there's really not going to be much unloading on camera because <clears throat> then uh, if we do it that way tomorrow's video we will get uh, the harvest finished up and then we'll start baling uh, baling our straw so we can have that job done and then uh, I think <clears throat> uh, we might talk to the dealership about a <clears throat> uh, bale trailer you know some like a hay hike or something uh, just cuz this is a big field there's a lot of straw here we're probably gonna get a lot of bales and uh, it would take a long time to move all of these bales eight at a time so I think uh, I think we'll see it'll just kind of depend on the price uh, whether we get a hay hiker or um, we try and find a gooseneck trailer and we just haul more in one go that uh, may be a possibility or even a full semi trailer something like that um, whether we find it at the dealership or we find a neighbor that's got one one of the two right there
So I think if we go down and back one more time yet, we might have enough. We're, I would say we're halfway done at least with this field. We might be a little over halfway done. So we're definitely knocking out some acres. Um, so yeah, obviously you guys are watching this. Uh, this video was not on time of my usual uploading schedule that I've been trying to do. Uh, I just have not had a chance to do any recording. Excuse me. So, um, that's why there was nothing last week or over the weekend. I just have not had a chance to get anything recorded. So, I'm going to try and record some, uh, a few at least here tonight for you guys. Might have to come back down again yet. We'll see. But we're definitely chewing away at it, so that's a big plus. I know our soybean field is going to be the one that takes quite a while to do. Yeah, we'll have to come back down because we're only half full right now. Sand for yield. Fairly decent. It's lower where we've got our high seed rates, but here in our uh, silty clay. So it definitely likes our uh, lean soil. We're definitely over halfway because we're almost over to that road there on this end so we will uh, definitely be able to finish it off next episode and uh, get started on bailing and I think For the bailing, we will just uh, probably time lapse it and get the whole field done in a video. And then the video after that, we will uh, come and pick them up. So then what we'll do is we'll grab one of the grain trucks 
and we'll drive it and the other one we will put on the follow me and uh, then we'll pull under the auger with one truck until the one on follow me comes up under it and let it fill up and then we'll go dump them hit C and I hit V instead and picked up the header. My bad. So we'll go until we're full. We might make it a good portion of the way up there before we do fill. I don't think we can make it all the way though. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Can we make it? It would work out great if we could. We might. Perfect. That worked out really good. Okay, so we'll let that unload. And in the meantime, we'll get this truck ready to go. truck and not the combine. I've noticed that happening a lot lately and I don't understand why that is, but apparently it just wants to work that way. doesn't actually go into neutral. That's sad. Still one heck of a truck though. I am really liking this thing so far. Perfect. Let's get this set to follow the other truck. Go. K. 
Okay. Now we should be good to go. Yep. He is a following. So not too bad between the two trucks we got I think like 850 bushels like 8 well we got 427.1 so we've got 854.2 between the two trucks that's what it would actually end up being I guess I don't remember how much our bins actually hold. Okay, so we're going to stop this truck. right there and then we'll back this guy up to our auger okay oh. um, do I have super strength on or something? the door up. I did not actually know that there was any interactive controls on this truck. It's just that though. Alright, let's fire this tractor up. Oops, I need to be selected on the tractor. There we go. I was wondering why it wasn't starting. Uh-oh. Why are we stopping? Are we not lined up? Directly on the bin. It does not appear so. It did go in, right? No, it is not. Oh, that's right. It's got to be up a ways. Um, let's see here. Gotta remember everything with this conveyor, or this auger, I should say. There we go. That's why we gotta be up a ways. Okay. Now we can hook it back up. Now we can try this again. Let's get back over it again, and we're unloading. We're not lined up or the crap, but we're unloading. That's all that matters. Number one done. Now for truck number two.
take a look. Let's see what this says here. Oat. Max month is January for 11.58. So we have about $30,000 worth of oats right at the moment. Oh, apparently, that's why we're a little far back. So we missed the trigger. So that's not bad, $30,000 worth of oats so far. It's not a huge amount, but it's better than uh, nothing. That is for sure. Alrighty, well, I will get these trucks back to the field, and uh, we'll keep on moving. So that is going to do it for today, folks. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button if you like the videos that I put out. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. Hope to catch y'all in the next one.